Welcome to another Chiron podcast. This podcast is about the use of Cameo within the Associated Press ENPS newsroom system and the utilization of the Lucy ActiveX plugin. Currently, Lucy is supported in the ENPS newsroom and has been tested with ENPS versions 5, 6, and now ENPS 7. In all instances, at this point, it utilizes MOS protocol 2.6. Let's take a look and see how the functionality works within the ENPS newsroom. In ENPS, I'm preparing a news story about the United States Postal Service reducing deliveries from six days a week to five. I'd like to add a graphic at the beginning of my story, kind of like a banner to introduce the story. I clicked on the MOS rover. I'm going to select my one-line super template. I have some demonstration text in there. I'm going to change it to five-day postal week. I'm going to click on preview and that will change my render so that I can see what that graphic is going to look like with the proper text in there. Something to notice, this template is built to make everything uppercase, even though I entered it upper lower, or actually in this case just lowercase. I also have a channel pre-assigned, pre which was done by the Lyric designer who created my template for me. I'd also like to be able to tell the director this goes at the beginning. I'm going to right click on the thumbnail, select automation, I leave that at zero for the end time. The duration will be, say it's going to be in there for five seconds. I click OK. When I take this thumbnail and I drag it into my script, and you'll see the information shows up. I have a one-line super. There's the message number that it goes to. Here's the text that's within it, and here's the time information so the director has some idea what I'd like to do. Also, if I wanted to see what that graphic looked like, if I come down to the thumbnail and double-click on it, you'll notice in my desktop I now have a large image so I can proofread what I've written. Let's say I'd like to put an OTS graphic in. I'm going to go to my quick search field, type in OTS. I'm going to click on the OTS template. And what I'd really like is a picture of the Postmaster General. His name is John Potter. I'm going to right click in this image template and select Create Access Graphic. I need to give this an, a title. I'm going to call it John Potter OTS. This will automatically take me up to Access Graphics, which is the online compositing tool from Chiron. I have the opportunity to view a proxy thumbnail. You notice this image looks a lot like this image. It took me to it directly. I'm going to come down to Zone 1, which is the foreground, and I'm going to say I'm looking for John Potter. I could search my own library. I don't have much. I'm going to go to one of my data providers, which is the Associated Press or AP Graphics Bank, and look at that. There's a picture of John Potter right there. And I want to put something behind him, so I'm going to put in USPS for United States Postal Service. I have nothing in my own library. I'm going to go to my data provider and see what kind of images I can find. Let's just say that this one will work fine for what I want to do. I'm going to move him over just a little bit. I'm going to move the background graphic in a little bit. And I'm going to put in here his information. John Potter. That graphic is pretty much ready to go. If I click on Assemble, that will send that image off to the Access Graphics System to give me a final render of my composition. It will present me with a full screen web page that I can look and see what that image looks like. If I click on the Deliver button, You'll see it tells me that it's transferred. Now my transfer is complete. I'm going to close that page. I'm done with the web page for now. I'm going to come back here to Lucy. I'm going to wait. I should see in about 10 seconds a gold bar here telling me that the contents of my server has changed. I'm going to be antsy. There it is. Content has changed. If I right click and hit refresh, it'll give me all the content. But all I really need to do is click on preview. When I do that, what's going to wind up happening is it's going to take that image that came down to me from Access Graphics and put it into my template. I'm going to put my slug on here locally and click Preview. And again, this template has upper lower defined for me. So there's my image. All I have to do is take that and drag it into my story. So now I've done a lower third and I've done an over the shoulder and I've done it all sitting at my desk.